The question was asked recently on the New Tech forums how to make agents as part of a flocking system uh, lock to a terrain, lock to a ground. This is a fairly common use case. Um, you can imagine making an army running across the surface. You want them to move up and down the hills. You don't want them to move through them. Um, there's a couple of ways of doing this and I'm going to demonstrate the easiest way today. Um, so what we've got here is a subdivided mesh and a displacement map texture has been applied and what I'm going to do is use the new ray casting functionality in, in flocking to basically project those agents to it. Um, if I just uh, if we just generate the agent's motion you can see obviously they're not locking to it If we add a raycast receiver to the terrain object, that essentially makes that terrain visible to the flocking system. It can then project rays in space and it can see it and it can react to it. Once we've done that, we go into the properties for the flock itself. Go to edit nodes. Go up to add node, flocking, raycast has to be this one. You can't use the standard ray cast from the ray trace option yet. And then all you do is just take the intersect output and plug it straight into the new position. And that's it. What this will do is project a ray straight down by default, but you can make it um, project in various directions depending on um, what you plug into this input here. So now if we calculate, you can see there how the agents have all been projected up to the surface of the mesh. So you can see just like that. Now if we apply a director into the scene, we can actually make them move around and they will still remain locked to that mesh. So I'll do that now. I'll just add a... Um, add a simple goal into the scene. So there, custom object, uh, flock director. It defaults to a, a goal anyway, so okay, they're moving not too quickly. It's probably because of the um, size of the scene. Oh, you can see them there. There you go. So now we've got our agents moving across the surface. Give that a bit more time and you can see them interacting with each other as they go. So that's it. That's the easy way of applying um, agents to the surface of a terrain. Thanks for watching.